Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to a little bit more Total War Warhammer with me, Squawk, or at least the beginning of the first half of a Total War Warhammer segment of this month's, of this year's Total War Month stuff. And to kick off, we're going to be doing something live. I've got a mix of live and replay for Warhammer. Um, what we're going to be doing live is we're going to be doing Norska. Not a campaign, sadly. That's for another day. One day we will do a Total Warhammer campaign. Because I will have to do one at some point. Because oh, I'm so excited for Warhammer 2. Uh, it's just a few weeks from now from when I'm recording. Probably by the time this goes up, it'll be less than a week away. But yeah. We've got some fighting to do. We've got to, well, we've got a fight, haven't we? As in, we're going to have a look at Norska. I have not done a Battle of Norska yet. I've been, I haven't really, I've, I've been trying to get to, a chance to record some Norska stuff, but I just haven't had that chance yet. But now is my time. So we are going to be playing Norska. We've got plenty of units to be playing with. Um, obviously, they have the access to the rare monsters and beasts. Um, these guys are sort of like, they use sort of like the lower tier chaos units, but then on top of that they have access to uh, basically very good monsters. Um, so they're sort of like, yeah, the Vikings with big guns. But we're going to do one offensive battle as Norska, and then we're going to do a defensive battle as Wintertooth in the next episode. And then I think we'll do a siege um, with one of these factions. Um, so yeah, I, we are going to go against the Empire because I'm going to say so, so yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely randomize their army first, so there we go. And I, you can pause and have a look at their build now, but I am not paying attention to it. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to leave that up in the sky, so I'm, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm going to build something that I think can counter the Empire, but yeah. So, what we need is, first things first, I need a my Legendary Lord. I could have just have a regular old Marauder Chieftain, but I am going to have Wolfric for Wanderer. He's armoured and shielded, a melee expert, and he's also a duelist. So, this is a, a, this is a guy for 1v1-ing things, really. And I have started to practice on this game a bit more. I am starting to get better at this game. I'm starting to learn my way around it a bit more. But yeah, Wolfric is a duelist. He also has access to mounts. He can have his Norskan Warhorse. Uh, he can have a chariot, or he can just go whole hog and have his great big uh, mammoth. Um, I'm just going to put Wolfric on a horse today, because I just want to spend money on other things, but yeah. So it's Wolfric on a horse. Uh, this guy can't cast magic, by the way, so we don't have access to any spells, but he does have the ability... Well, this is actually one thing he can do. He can also have access to the Sword of Torgold, which is a... gives him extra damage, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that today, but he does that because I'm just going to leave his base abilities on. So we've got Foe Seeker, Stand or Die, uh, Hunter of Champions, and Seafang. So the Hunter of Champions is a Hex, which uh, just is a good debuff for the enemy. And also then Seafang is a Wind Attack, which uh, is good against big men, or at least big units. So that would be good for maybe chucking a, 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 a unit of sword, swords, um, guys. You also have access to a hero, uh, such as shaman sorcerers or skin wolf wakings. Um, I think we, I am going to have a, I'm going to have put a sorcerer in mine. I'm going to go with a, a, a Fimia Bale fiend, who knows about the law of fire, so I have access to some good fire attacks with him. Um, his spells include uh, fireballs, the fire cloak, uh, the flaming sword of ruin, the big old burning head that wanders off and never does what I tell it to do, flame storm, and my piercing bolts of burning, also known as having an AC-130 bombard for battlefield for a little bit. Right, let's talk infantry now. So we have access to stuff like marauders, spears, great weapon marauders, ice horn marauders. Oh yes, I do have the, uh, the, uh, DL, the, uh, well, free LC, um, I think that adds all the new regiments of renown to DLC armies, which is um, all cool and that. I think we'll be looking at a few, maybe. Um, I do want to do another Battle of Chaos, so I can use Sigvald's bodyguard. Um, also got the uh, Marauders Berserkers, um, Marauder Champions. These guys are quite tough, um, and also Champion Marauders. Um, I think I'm going to use some Great Weapon Marauder Champions, just because these guys are armor-piercing. I, I, I will need... Uh, a few anti-armoured uh, un units to deal with the Empire because uh, the majority of their units are armoured. But I will also use, uh, well, I will need some anti-lads, anti so plenty of Marauder Spears as well. I think four should be enough for my needs. 
Uh, missile infantry is not exactly fantastic for the Norskans, or at least not in my opinion. It's either javelins or throwing axes, but then again, um, uh, these uh, throwing axes, while they are close quarters, they are good against Dan once more. But I think I'm going to go over javelins because they are anti large. That would be good if the enemy's brought any Reichsguard or Demigriff. Um, that they can deal with them. I've also got access to Ice Wolf Chariots and regular Chariots, Marauder Horses, Missile Cavalry. I think I will have an Ice Wolf Chariot as well because that can that can also just basically ruin the enemy's day. It's also got access to the Frostbite ability which uh, reduces the speed of enemies. So that'll be good for maybe slowing down some enemy dem Demigriffs or something. It only seems to happen if we get into melee combat though and the missile damage is what pierces armor so we'll need to keep an eye on that. And also, last but not least, we need, to, need some of those famous Norskan monsters. We could have Norskan trolls, which look like chaos trolls from the thumbnail. And we also have access to the Feral Manticore, Skin Wolves, Armoured Skin Wolves, Femir Warriors, Great Weapon Femirs. Um, I think we just need something that's good for breaking up the enemy. Um, I think I think maybe an Ice Troll would be cool, but I'm going to save Ice Trolls for when we play as Wintertooth. I think what we are going to do is I'm going to use... I'm going to... Actually, should I, I should have brought a War Mammoth, really, shouldn't I? But, um... Uh, you know, I'm going to save a War Mammoth for Winter Tooth as well. Winter Tooth is sort of like all the beasty stuff. I think Wolfric likes just more hunting stuff. Um, but I'm going to bring some Skin Wolves, uh, because these guys should be uh, quite useful to me. Um, because, yeah, they're armoured, they're anti-large... They can frenzy and they're good, and they have good regeneration value as well. So I need to keep them away from Val fire, but they will be useful to me. And there's also uh, also has access to Norskan warhounds or Norskan ice wolves. Uh, these guys have scaly skin, by the way, which gives them a good missile resistance. The Empire is something of a missile uh, faction as well, so I'm going to put an arm, a unit of uh, Warhounds as well, just to maybe clip the wings of the enemy archers. Uh, I'm going to do some upgrading as well, of course. Uh, I'm going to increase the rank of my Norskan Spears, because I want to just give them a nice little boost. There we go. Give them a nice little boost. I'm not going to boost anything else today. I just wanted to give the Spears a little boost, because I'm always just concerned about my anti large in these games, because it can go very wrong for me sometimes, but yeah. That's my army, so I've got my Wolfric, I've got my Bale Fiend, a few Marauder Spears, Marauder Champions, uh, Javelins, Ice Wolf Chariot, Warhounds, and Skin Wolves. And if anyone doesn't like this build, all I'm going to say to you is, look, this is literally my first battle playing as Norska. I haven't watched any Norska content. I've been trying to keep cold turkey, so yeah, I'm just basically playing with whatever I think looks good again. Just having, you know, just having a little fun experiment. First time playing Norska, I'm like, taking off that Christmas wrapping paper. So let's just get in there and fight this one out. Let's see how good the Empire really is against Norska. And the Empire has spearmen, by the way. Oh, well, we're fucked. Um, they do actually have quite a few Reichsguard in that army. There are no Demigriffs, fortunately, but I am seeing two units of Reichsguard. So I was right to bring my uh, quite a few spears as well as my... Uh, my my uh, my wolves and that and my javelins. Uh, there are also some free company militia. Ah, those legendary law. Well, not legendary, but uh, regiment of renown uh, flagellant. Those guys are a bit of a pain in the ass, actually. One of my, my, my one of my battle replays concerns these flagellants because these guys have the really annoying ability of that they never out. They will stay there until they die. So yeah. But we do have quite a few spearmen, so naturally I will be keeping my uh, units away. I think the b biggest unit I need to be worried about though is I have to believe I, I, I'm not I'm not too um, clued upon the thumbnails, but I think that is a Hellstorm rocket battery. That's going to cause me some trouble with my infantry. Oh well. Anyway, key unit is to take out those Reichsguard as soon as I can because they're going to be tough. Good thing I upgraded my spears once more because I'm going to keep bragging about that. And hopefully my Bale Fiend will just be able to weaken everything else. Good thing I'm on the attack, actually. And by the way, on the map one is Breon. I didn't really bother selecting a map, did I? Oh, well. It's a map. This game going to load or what, by the way? There we go. Let's get into this one. So this is Breon. I think this is actually somewhere in Bordelow. Yeah, because that's Bordello literally over there. Right. So, we, we, we've we had a bit of a hike there, those Norskans. Uh, we're just chilling out over here. And by the way, yes, these guys look very cool, don't they? They're not quite fully indoctrinated into chaos, but they are starting to get all that lovely, sweet-ass chaos gear ready. But yeah, 
We've been, let's just say that Wolfric has wandered into Bordello. He's taken out the Bretonians and the Empire has decided that it's high time they intervened. Before basically Norska ends up absolutely everywhere. And then the result in fact will be Chaos will just be able to wander right in. And yeah. Empire's here to stop me. So, and by the way, let's have a quick look at some of our things. So, yeah, these are our skin wolves. Basically, great big, big ass werewolves. Yeah. You can see them doing a lot of damage with those big, strong forearms. These are my spear, my, these are my spear marauders. Got my great weapon dudes here. Yep, those weapons look like they are absolutely gonna, absolutely, well, they're gonna ruin your day if they end up touching you and hitting you at speed. My javelins, yep, decently armoured again. Obviously, they do have bits of exposed flesh, which would be easy to stab. Got me Ice Wolf Chariot. That looks cool as well. Skin, well, not, well, Warhounds, they look interesting. They're like mutated pugs. And then I've got Wolfric himself, as well as the Bale Fiend, which is a big, horrible mutant thing that's probably been... But yeah, Ugrugwarman, he says. He also has access to the Arcane Conduit, which increases his power reserves and shit. Anyway... Let's deploy. So first things first, I want my I want my Chaos Marauders being the front line. These guys are gonna be the ones who will basically deliver the initial punch to the enemy front line, mainly those swordsmen. Um, except the enemy hasn't really brought anything that's massively armoured, so my armor piercing might struggle a little bit here, but they'll do what they can. Now you guys will be on the flanks, my lovely spears, so there we go. So you go you two as well, gather up. Also, by the way, one thing I've noticed in this game that I've actually been starting to love is how you just chant, like, really cool stuff when you select them. Mainly, like, Bretonian stuff. How they all just go for the lady and all that stuff. I, f I find that really cool in this game. Wish that was in Rome. Anyway, javelins. See, no scar. I love that, right. You guys go there and get ready to do your thing. And also, we will make sure you are not in... No, not skirmishing, by the way. That is the not skirmishing button. Bale Feigned Wizard will be marching in the back lines. Skin Wolves, I'm going to keep them in the back-ish. Uh, Chaos, Chaos Marauders will be hovering around the flanks. Warhounds, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try and get the Warhounds to try and disrupt the Hellstorm rocket battery at some point, but yeah. I've got my units sorted. Let's get in there and have ourselves a good old fight now. So, let's just get in there and do it. No scar! Right. Marauders begin moving forward. The enemy is just gonna be content to sit there and start picking away at us with their uh, hellstone rocket matches. For some reason, they're hiding in a stupid peasant farm as well. So I feel happy about taking them. FYI, I am playing on normal difficulty because someone who is known as Squawker forgot to bump the difficulty up to hard. Because I am at the point now where easy is not becoming a challenge to me ish. Oh, well, I'm at the point where I'm winning the majority of battles on normal difficulty. So, yeah, I should really be playing on hard at this point. But, oh, well, you know what? New faction, got to learn how to play. Anyway, we do have a witch hunter, by the way. I know these guys are something of an annoyance. They can randomly basically make heroes very, very weak. So, I need to keep an eye on that. Anyway, let's get everything else moving forward. Spears, you need to be on this flank here. Uh, javelins, let's get you taking up a position on the on this hill ridge. Over, 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 Norsten Spears, I want you over here just to keep an eye on those Reich's guard. Bale Fiend, I want you moving up as well. Uh, Skin Wolves, moving up. And Chariot, I want you moving. I want you on the Ice Ridge as well. It's going to be a, bit, a little bit difficult moving my Ice Ridge, my, my Chariot around, but we'll do what we can with it. But either way, right. You guys are quite fast, aren't you? Call, halt, cease movement there. And I, ooh. That's the sound of a Hell Storm. Oh, oh that's not Hell Storm. That, they're just cannons, aren't they? Oh, it's an organ gun, that's why. It's a hell blaster. And right now, it's having fun picking my units off. Right, guys. Loosen our formation up a little bit. Oh, no, wait, sorry, I thought God, there isn't a button for loose formation in this game. Right, start pulling forward. You, it's all right, your spear brethren are right behind you. But not, I know they're not called spear brethren, but look. These guys are brothers in arms. These are Norskans. Norskans stick together. You guys come here and start protecting this flank. Of ones are uh, moving in nicely. Right, you guys... You guys, you guys, no, you guys, right. Start moving over here, because uh, I, I see some Reichsguard thinking they can come in and get some easy kills, so I want you guys to start running in. Javelins, start targeting. You are anti lad, so you will you will do, you will will do fare okay if I'm against them. And now, great weapons, start moving in. 
You start calling down your lovely bombardment once you're in position. I want you to try and bombard the Reichsguard just chilling out in the back. I'll try and go for that Arch Lecter. And Wolfric, you, uh, hopefully he is on his way. He needs, he ne I need to get Wolfric to either deal with that Witch Hunter or he needs to go and attack, see, attack the Witch Hunter. They're Wolfric's targets. Wolfric's a duelist. He prefers fighting one-on-one. -on -one. And there we go. First engagement. I wear first blood on my part. That, yep. Yeah. That guy just fucking clocked him really hard with that mace, so yeah. I am pretty sure my guys should do okay here. Start dealing up oh, by where that farmhouse just came down, and the flagellants are moving in. They're at a low threat vote. My guy should be okay. Enemy is uh, casting a spell on me. They've been accused by the uh, by the annoying by the annoying witch hunter. Right, thank you, witch hunter. Right, spears, deal with those Reichsguard. Javelins, attack those Reichsguard. And yeah, Wolfric's still on his way in. Spears, don't let those Reichsguard start controlling the area. Let's make sure they're not getting their chance to move in. You, just move in, deal with those free company militia. There shouldn't be too much of an issue in sword fights. We can just get and stop them quickly. Right, skin wolves, start moving against those Reichsguard. You should be okay against them. Yeah, they're a low threat once more. But those Reichsguard are trying to just move in and cause as much chaos as possible against my army. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Some of my warriors are becoming cravens. And oh, there we go. Yeah, skin wolves are just going to absolutely kill house there, right? My marauders have not fared well. Right, bail you. Right, you. See those flagellants? Set them on fire, please. Come on. There we go. He's making, he's making the fire rain down now. Right. Wolfric, start pulling around the flank and try and find a path to the enemy. Don't avoid those spears, though. Don't want you getting in an unnecessary engagement. Javelins. Yeah, start, start, just start, you know, assisting, basically. Start, start bringing down those spears, right. Wolfric, you have a chance now to go and, oh, is that the witch hunter over there? No, those are silver bullets. I didn't see those handgunners, right. Start moving against that arch lector. Jav, marauder javelins or whatever you are. Yeah, where's my chariot, by the way? Chariot, 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 chariot. You're way over there right now. Right? Javelin, start moving in. Wolves. Wolves start moving in. Should have micromanaged those guys a little smarter, shouldn't I? Right, Wolfric. There we go. Wolfric. See that witch hunter? I want he's your target right now. Don't bother with a free company militia. Just take him out. And, and you know, cast a wind spell on him as well. There we go. Just opened up a big hole in the in the area. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, it's some ghost ships, by the way, which Yeah. Thank you, ghost ship. That just actually, uh, yeah, that just actually pushed the swordsman in over the edge. My skin wolves can finish him off now. Thank you, right. Reichsguard have decided to go for Wolfric first. So, right, Wolfric, you need to pull out because you're not going to win in a 1v1. You're, you're a tough guy. Don't get me wrong, but you're not going to win there. Right, you. Cast a fur, but get in there. Cast a burning head and help my guys. Because Wolfric isn't going to last forever. These guys are attacking the flagellants, but they're not going to win. Right. Marauder Chariot, I need you to go, you know, just go melee against him. Just get in there, get a good charge in. I know, I know they're not really wearing armor, but yeah. There we go. That's what a chariot does. Just runs enemies over like it's nothing, right? Now get in there and deal with those Reichsguard. They're armor piercing. You can, you, you, you know, you can have a pop at them. Oh, by the way, hello Flaming Skull. Thank you for not being useful, as usual. Right, these Marauder Spearmen are doing their job. You guys, let's get you moving in. Start attacking those Reichsguards. Javelins, Javelins, Javelins. Keep moving on those Reichsguards. Skin Wolves. Skin Wolves can just have fun ripping up us, ripping up Sigmar's sons. They, 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 they should go down sooner or later. I don't care what Sigmar thinks. Sigmar's not really doing a good job of protecting them. Right, Wolfric. I know you've been having fun, but look. The Arch Lector's trying to make, do a runner. And also, you, I want to do that wind thing again, because that's pretty cool, right? Just cast a wind thing there. There we go. Right. Here comes another ghost ship from hell for you guys. I love that attack so much right now. Right. Just Wolfric, you're a bit covered in blood right now. And I'm, I'm suspecting a lot of it might belong to you. So I just want you in safety. Great weapons. Start moving in. Uh, by the way, Bale Fiend. Maybe you could support my dudes. Hey, about, how about that? Um, let's see. Fireballs. Flamestorm. Yeah, do a Flamestorm. Right on top of there, please. There we go. He's casting it. He's going to cast it. Wolfric, I told you to get out of there. And you didn't... Oh, and you didn't listen. Right. Well, you just got eaten by a flame tornado. Well done, Wolfric. 
Isn't really doing a lot of damage there, but oh well, let's try it. Right, chariots, in the interest in that, you should be keeping up your momentum. Get in there, knock out those silver bullets, and then just find something else that's useful to do. Because right now, we are getting... Yeah, that artillery is still ripping me up, and that is that is not good at all, is it? Marauder Spears, look, they're trying. They're just running away from you. They know what they're doing. They're trying to take out your. They're trying to take you. Take out your stamina. That's what they want to do. Chariots are still going for it, though. They're gonna really, really beat these guys down. I've got them on the run. And there we go. Yeah, the silver bullets did not fare well there at all. Right, keep going for it. Hopefully that witch hunter doesn't do anything annoying. Aren't you supposed to be dealing with a skaven problem, you idiot? By the way, except he isn't. Yeah, the Empire's going to have a bit of a scaven problem soon, by the way, if you haven't been following all the hype and stuff, but yeah. None of my beeswax, none of my beeswax. Right, Wolves, where are we at? I think it's time for you to come in and start delivering a few crushing blows. You're not going to be brilliant, but you're going to do something. Skin Wolves, by the way, they are exhausted, but they've been really trying to haul ass in this one. But we still need to take out that artillery. That artillery has just been dogging me about, or whatever, it keeps randomly exploding and catching fire in this area. But I am pretty sure it's those stupid fucking volleyball guns, right? Deal with the hell blasters. Come on. Even the bell even the bell fire is just gonna come and do a bit because yeah. Bell fire guy's just fucking huge by the way. But he has just been accused of being a witch. A somewhat accurate accusation this time around, no? And oh dear, he's hexing. Uh, it's the Arch Lector, right? So alright, we're out of his range at least, right. Uh tell you what, uh magic missile. Just shoot a fucking fireball at the Arch Lector and let the then let the wolves finish him. There we go. I think the, the Arch Lector did not like having a fireball thrown at his face. Right. Wolves, finish him off. There we go. He won't last. Right. Wolfric, you might want to give a Bale Fiend a, a, a hand. Or summon another ghost ship because they're funny. Like, right there. Right. Where is everyone else? Chariots, let's get you moving south. South, south, south. Come on, chariots. Chariots, come on. Listen to me. Right. Deal, deal with the witch hunter. Or skin wolves, deal with the witch hunter. Still out oh, there, there goes the ghost ship again. And ah, those guys just got away before. The, yeah, right. oh well. Spearmen are coming in to deal with my uh, skin wolves. So I think, yeah, it's alright. Those spearmen won't really do anything anyway. The skin wolves, maybe. I'm not sure if they are vulnerable to anti allies, but yeah. You just see a skin wolf just fucking turn them into, like, basically a few bits of, of gibbs, and then, yeah, you realise that these guys probably know what they're doing. Chariot right now is doing okay against the silver bullets. It's uh, winning more or less. Uh, needs to get some momentum up though. So right, you get get running, get running, and then get ready to do another charge. That, that fucking hell blaster by the way is still attacking us. Right, whatever marauder spears are left, move in and attack those outriders. Cause yeah, those are ones yeah, cause the outriders just managed to blow up Wolfric. Well done. Why did I not pay attention to these guys? Because now my now my bail fiend is on the run. It's all right. We can still do it. We haven't lost just yet. Just need my you know a chariot. Get in there and and take him out quickly. Just get them bogged down. I want everyone taking out those outriders. Those outriders are number one priority now. Skin wolves, you stay there and deal 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 with your arch lector. I think he's doing everything he can to stay in the game, but my my yeah my skin wolves should be able to do it. Some of my warriors are still fleeing though, but come on. Got got the outriders on the run, but they are I yeah, I, I have a feeling they're gonna turn around and just keep on firing, but it's alright, they're on the run, they're not near my infantry. Might be able to push them into a route. Their morale isn't doing brilliant anyway. And if the arch lector goes down then, you know, I'll still have an advantage, but that witch hunter's doing all he can to slow me down as well. Right. Who else is still here? Where are my wolves at? Where are my wolves at? Right, you're way over on the wrong side of the battlefield. Try and come back, please. Skin Wolves, yep, yeah, dealing with the Arch Lector. Bale Fiend, he came back, right? Bale Fiend, get here. We're going to draw a new line in the sand. I want all units who have not routed to line up here, and we're going to get ready to deal with the enemy once more. Because once more, yeah, the Skin Wolves are fleeing. The Arch Lector came out on top. He hasn't died yet. He has got quite a bit of health left. And my guy, yeah. The Outriders are just basically on the other side of the map right now. Not brilliant, but at least they're not. They're away from me. So, okay. Might buy us enough time to basically get ourselves into position. Silver bullets are coming in, right? You guys need to move in as fast as you can and deal with those silver bullets before they can do anything nasty. Magic is not doing well, right? Okay, and conduit. Build up your magic reserves, my lad. We need magic. Right. You lot, keep going in. And I don't care if it fucks up the vortex doing all of that, by the way. I don't give a shit about the vortex right now. The vortex can fuck off. 
Warhammer 2 hasn't been released yet, so as far as I'm concerned, it isn't doing anything. And my troops uncovered hit. Oh, great. There was something hiding as well. It was just these guys again. And they're on the run now anyway, right? Spears, keep them chased down. Those guys aren't going to fight back, at least. You keep chasing them down. Great weapon, Marauders. Deal with that Witch Hunter. Javelins, deal with the stupid, annoying fucking Arch Lector before he gives me another headache. And uh, yes, we've got some. We've got access to the fire cloak. Extra damage for you guys, right? Augmentum. There we go. Right. Use that extra damage, my lads, and deal and get that arch lector killed. Come on. Oh, he's still doing really well. But again, he is a big guy with with those stupid bloody great big hammers. How does he even see in that armor? Though? That's a hard thing for him. I mean, he's got. He's wearing all that armor. And he's just still somehow doing it right. Javelins, start moving in. Other, other guy. Oh, these guys are on the full right. Right, skin wolves, keep come back in. We're gonna take out this guy. I don't care how much he, he needs. He needs fucking taking down. Even though, yeah, his morale is fucking impervious, isn't it? Bale fiend, just keep building up that winds of magic. Except it's depleted completely now. Oh dear. It's all right. I, I think they. I think they. All right. Actually, no. I think they will, will build themselves back up. Usually, winds of magic build themselves back up over time. But yeah. I think actually if they could, if they are completely depleted then they won't they won't grow back anymore. Oopsies. Unless I do another conduit that might buy us some buy us some more magic. Right, where are my chariots at by the way? Did we chase down those outriders? Yeah, we, we caught up with them. Good, 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 good. Right, keep dealing with them. Finish them off as best as you can, lads. There we go. Do what you can. Make the outriders shoot themselves or something. Right. You, Bale Fiend, you, you might have to move it in and just actually go for the melee attack. But it's alright. Everyone is trying to kill that Arch Lector. Skin Wolves, kill the Arch Lector. He's nearly down. There we go. I mean, look at that. Knocked him right the fuck down. It's going to get back up there. Come on. We can still we can still take him. I mean, oh, he keeps fucking buffing himself as well. That's probably how he stayed in this battle for so long. He just keeps buffing himself with his... Yeah, the Grant... Yeah, it's his battle prayers. The Shield of Faith just keeps making him resist damage, right? Well, everyone just get in there and... See. Yeah, there we go. Nice big stab. He's going to go down at some point. I know you guys can do it. Everyone else just keep coming back in. Keep coming back in. And I know there's still that Witch Hunter to deal with as well. That's annoying. You guys, start pursuing the Witch Hunter. Advance at your own pace, sir. You, conduit. Try and get the Winds of Magic back up. There we go. Except he's just routed, hasn't he? Yes, he has, right. Oh dear, this could end up as a defeat. A defeat is my first battle on Norska, but it was only because that guy wouldn't rout. I mean, seriously, that Arch Lector, yeah. I haven't really fought an Arch Lector before, I'm going to admit, but yeah. I'm guessing he's unbreakable. Because he just does... Well, actually, no. Ah, no, wait, he's breakable. Come on, he's wavering. Push him, push him. I don't care if he just had a really good, a really good hit then. Finish him off, lads. Come on. Skim wolves and everyone. He can't take that damage forever. Yes! He's routing. He's routing. Right. Good. All that's left to deal with now is the Witch Hunter. Leave the Arch Lector alone. He's done for. Well, Alright. Skim wolves. Go in, go in and make sure he doesn't come back, actually. Don't want to let him just suddenly come back, so yeah. As long as something's pursuing him, he's probably just going to keep, keep an eye, keep away from us. And there we go. Tried to hit him. Tried to hit him the best. Oh, there we go. Knocked the fuck down. Right, just keep dealing with him. Everyone else, deal with that witch hunter. Either throw your javelins at him, put insert a spear in him. I don't care what you do, as long as it's hurting him, I want I want him dead. Simple as that, really. Except like he's he's just gonna keep on running, isn't he? He's just, he's just gonna try and draw his line in the sand. And keep popping those accusations like he always does, but there ain't a lot I can do, really. Not a lot I can do. But my morale is just not good at all. Is that Arch Lector gonna die or what, by the way? Come on. Take him out for good. It might it might it might convince the witch hunter to maybe leave me alone forever. And his health is basically on the brink. Come on, keep running. There we go. It's like a chew toy for these guys, really, isn't it? The way it just keeps getting tossed around the battlefield. It's like, here, din dins, din dins, play with your chew toy. Go on, skin wolves, finish him off. There we go. Nice toss. Good, 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 right. Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Everyone just pile in on that witch hunter, please. I'm gonna oh yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this one now. Not a lot left for us to see. Um By the way, it looks like those outriders did win. 
on this, but didn't really win. My chariots are still giving chase, but yeah. You know what? Chariots. Oh, by the way, the enemy lord died. Arch Lectors out. Right, skin wolves, come over and help them, please. But yeah, my chariots are basically out, out for the count. And everyone is just trying to pursue that witch hunter. He's just running around the battlefield. He doesn't really know what he's doing, does he? Yeah, he doesn't. Everyone's just trying to get to him. Don't think anyone is going to reach him though, which is a shame. Just sort of like waddling after him. I think it's just a bit... Well, actually, my guys are steady at the minute. Oh, then again, they're shaking. Then Morales just seems to plummet as soon as that witch hunter pops a stupid fucking pistol shot in their asses. He's popping Captain... Oh, and then... Uh, Outriders did come back into the game. My chariots uh, have wandered off. Right, chariots, get back in there, please, as fast as you can. And I know they're very tired, but yeah. And yeah, you guys actually have caught with that witch hunter, so you might be able to start taking him out. Go on. There we go. Got him into a fight now. He's only a guy in a stupid fucking leather jacket with his stupid fucking neck beard fedora. We can take him. Right, keep moving in. Javelins, if you get the chance, pop something in, the, in those outriders. You might have a chance of taking him down. Skin wolves, focus on focus on on the witch hunter. Might be able to bring this one back from the brink, basically. But that is what this battle is. It is on the brink. I've had a lot of casualties, and so have they. Right, shame these guys ran out of ammo. So, uh, oh, we won. Good. Right, the witch hunter gave up. I think I will call that a battle ended. And yeah, that was definitely a pyrrhic victory. A very costly bit. I mean, do I even deserve to call it a victory? Probably not, really. That was just way too close for comfort. The enemy really had me go in there. I lost a lot of good men there. A lot of good men. But at the same time, I prevailed at the end. And next time, we're going to try Winter Tooth. I'll try and change up my faction roster. Change up the enemy army. And yeah, but yeah. Very close one. And I haven't played this game in like maybe a few weeks or so, so that might be why my micro was a little off. Plus I've been playing Total War all day and I think I'm just tiring. Look, enough with the excuses. We won. End of story. See you on the next battle, my friends. And here are some stats. And yeah, a lot of losses on both sides. Simple as that. Uh, my units did okay on average. My skin wolves were basically my best unit. And Wolfric got a lot of kills as well. Um, but he did die in battle. Um, best unit on there, yeah, the Witch Hunter and that stupid Lecter got a lot of kills, and so did those Outriders. Should have paid more attention to those. Some of the Reichsguard did quite well as well, but we did manage to get the Reichsguard under control, more or less. Anyway, see you on the next episode, my friends. Have a lovely one.